Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you so much for joining me today. We're starting off heading for Brunel Village, although we did pick up Rumbleshot's ammo, which was at a little camp just outside of the Wendigo Den is where we found that. And now we're running up to Brunel Village, uh, apparently to get some Evershine, and I'm not sure if if perhaps the Frostmane Hold is around here or if it's somewhere else completely. But it looks like there's going to be some quests over here for us to do besides just dropping off the breadcrumb or picking up the Evershine. Here there. Whoop. Here's our current quest. I have a cask of Evershine handy, but can you do me a favor? Brunal Village could use a hand against the wild animals that wander the nearby snows. Sometimes they wander close. We're not afraid of these bears and cats and boars. No self-respecting dwarf would be. But if you could take care of those animals for us, then we'd have more time for our crafting and brewing. Kill six ice claw bears, eight elder crag boars, and eight Watch snow leopards. Back. So everything we've already been killing, got it. What's on your mind? Good. And then he also has the perfect stout. I'm on a quest, a quest to make the perfect stout. I know I can do it, brewing's in my blood. I just need to find the right recipe. The Frostmane trolls grow a plant, shimmerweed, high up in the hills to the east. They use it in their strange tribal rituals. We dwarves haven't found much use for it, but it has a unique taste, and I want to experiment with it in my brews. Get me some shimmerweed from the Frostmane seers, or swipe it from the trolls' shimmerweed baskets. We need six. Off with you. What's on your mind? Bitter rivals. I have to admit, those thunder brews make some good drinks. But they need to learn that theirs isn't the only decent brew. Maybe you can help me teach them that lesson. Here, take this barrel of barley brew skelder. Sneak into the basement of the thunder brew distillery in Karanos and switch it with one of their barrels of Thunder Ale. Then we'll see how their patrons like my brew over theirs. And if the barrels are guarded, then you might have to distract the guard. Keep your feet on the ground. Okay, uh, seems a little trivial, but we'll play along for some experience. What can I get for you today? Let's sell some stuff from our inventory. Probably just want to keep the food that we have. And then I'm kind of wondering what is over here. Um, what can we reveal by going to the far west here? We, we need some of these leopards. Let's just go investigate. Okay, so these are leper gnomes. This is the remains of Nomergon. So Nomergon being the gnome city that was uh, invaded, and then they released this radioactive gas to fight off the invasion, but obviously it ended up just turning everybody into lepers who didn't get out in time. And it's actually a dungeon that we could do around level 29, 30-ish. And so I guess that's all that's going on here. Which I'm assuming means that the Frostmane hold is going to be somewhere else. Take the road north. When you get to the bridge, follow the frozen river west till you reach the ice flow lake. You'll find Brunel Village is on the west bank. The hold is on the southwest. Hold is southwest of the village. So 
So the little area down there that we haven't uncovered yet, I would be willing to bet. Reasons why it's good to just open up the entire map if you can. We don't need these leper gnomes for anything. Uh, that doesn't mean obviously they're gonna leave us alone. It also doesn't mean that we won't have a quest for them later. They are level eight. I don't know if this one just spawned in or what that was about, but he's a little bit too close for my liking. Somebody left their loot on that bear. What a shame. Aha, Frost made hold. And then we need Shimmerweed. And we could pick this up or find it in their baskets. Okay, well. We'll keep a lookout for baskets. Ooh, we got a little too close there. We're doing a good job of body pulling these guys, aren't we? Not what we want to be doing, but it seems to be okay. It would really be helpful if we put demon skin back up and maybe threw up a curse of weakness. Waiting for corruption to tick. There we go or for our imp to not cast. Let's get some health back. Our mana will regen pretty well on its own here if we're careful. If we're not hurling unnecessary shadow bolts right now, then our mana seems to kind of sort itself out, which I really love. This, what the hell is this pull? One, two, three, four, five, six. It would be sweet to have a group of five to even see if you could, you could take that pull, right? You'd probably have to do some CC, but at this level, you don't have a lot of CC, to be quite honest. I really don't want to get two of these guys. Um, shit, but we need to get in there. Alright, well we got two of them anyway. I want to get my dots up on this one, then we'll switch over here. We might not survive this, in point of fact. Uh, mainly because we didn't do that early enough. Shit! Oh, we're so close! Guys, keybind your potions. Keybind your potions. No reason why we shouldn't have been able to throw off a uh, quick heal there. Let's just go ahead and put that here for now. Curse of weakness, guys. Invaluable. Look how far we are. Wow. Level 8, you know, you've been playing for how many hours now? Oh, well, you've been playing for about three hours, and you're met with a death, and then you realize you have to run across the zone. It makes me think, you know, at least it's better than in Final Fantasy XI. I don't know if any of you guys played Final Fantasy XI online. That was a, a really fun game, okay? I have a lot of good memories of that game, actually. But, 
when you died in that game, you lost experience. So if you died too many times, you'd be watching your experience bar go back and back and back, and you would actually de-level. Which, at some critical levels, meant that you lost key abilities. That meant you couldn't do certain content with other people until you leveled back up. It was really hardcore. So when I think about, like, I try to keep that in mind. When I get annoyed at long spirit runs like this, I try to think about Final Fantasy XI um, for some perspective. Now, if you don't have that kind of perspective, if your only real experience with MMOs and, and death in MMOs is, you know, modern WoW, where there are graveyards, like, everywhere, you know, your reaction might be a little different. And like part of me thinks like the punishment is fine. What really sucks is if the respawn rate is too high and you get back to your body and because it's such a long run that a lot of the stuff you have killed, if you've killed a lot of stuff, has respawned, that's that's pretty punishing. And it reminds me almost of like a Souls like where you know you go back to the bonfire, but of course by as you run back you, you have to fight everything you've already fought. So sometimes the respawn rate can do that, at least in classic, uh, if there are lots of players in the area. In this case, um, I don't think we've really lost any ground here as far as progressing towards our destination. Let's look around, make sure this is relatively safe. We'll get our imp back out immediately and then throw up demon skin. We have to remember Curse of Weakness. Both for the, if our imp is getting attacked by one and we're getting attacked by another, Curse of Weakness needs to be the first thing to go up on both mobs, I think. Did we kill those guys with our, with our dots or, huh, interesting. All right, let's go in here. We have to explore this. Some No, someone else has been in here. But maybe not too recently. Or maybe they didn't go all the way in. Is this guy a caster? He used, he's a druid or something. He used fairy fire on us. That was an unnecessary shadow ball. Oh, we pulled him. I want to see if I can get in his melee zone and kind of pull him back. That was a big shadow bolt resist. That didn't like that very much at all. Okay, there we go, let's get our health and mana back up here. These guys are at level with us, and they're not exactly a joke to deal with. I wonder how far back here we're going to have to go. Also, I'm only seeing headhunters, right? I'm not seeing the priest, or, or what, what did they call them? Seers. Well, I'm not seeing any seers in here. Here we go. Little line of sight. Worked out better than I thought it would. Another minor healing potion. Alright, I feel good. We have a dwarf warrior in the group. I think we're best served by throwing our 
our dots around, but I don't know if she's gonna get out. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're gonna get out. We might get out. Maybe. <laughs> At the cost of our our poor pet. Let's put him on um Okay, let's put him on aggressive, make him fight to the death back there. We're out of combat, so we're we're looking okay. Now how do we there we go, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, taking on four of them was gonna be a little bit much. We gave it a good shot, I think. Warrior might need to learn a little bit about body pulling. Oh look, our imp just went mad because he's he's on aggressive here. He literally just went mad. He's also going to get himself murdered. That's not good for us. We survive one situation only to end up in another that's equally awful. How effed is that? Oh shit, I cannot believe this. This, this, this was bad. Just all bad. <laughs> all right, we have let some time pass here in the hopes that we can make a slow approach to the Frostmane hold. An approach that hopefully won't get us annihilated. We're gonna be, we're gonna be as careful as we can be. Which, you know, maybe we haven't been doing that up until this point, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're not gonna make any excuses for ourselves if we screw up and get ambushed by a million trolls. I'm gonna do some herbing here, so excuse me. We're playing by moonlight now, so it's a little bit dark. I've, I've turned up the gamma settings a little bit to make sure that uh, it doesn't get too dark on YouTube, but you know, that is something that happens. Suggest uh, making sure your monitors are in, or TVs are in game mode. Might help a little bit. But if the gamma settings are too dark, let me know and I will get those increased for future videos. Ooh, someone else is out here grabbing herbs. We have some competition. Alright, let's kind of approach from the flank here. We really need to get just back into the hold. That's all we need to do. Is in, it's, it's funny because even to get close you have to fight way more than five. Right? But then you have to explore the hold. You're going to have fought like a hundred by the time you fully explore the hold. The hold being way back here. So let's let's come over here on the side and see if we can see if we can flank them essentially. Uh, we do have Curse of Agony now, so we can only put one curse at a time. We can either use Curse of Weakness or Curse of Agony. Curse of Agony uh, causes the target curses the target with agony causing 84 shadow damage over 24 seconds. This damage is dealt slowly at first and then builds up as the curse reaches its full duration. And so it's another dot, it's another damage over time that we can use. And it's instant cast, so we can throw it up right away. Again, the downside is that we can't use Curse of Weakness along with it. We can only have one active curse on a target at one time. But pretty, pretty good additional damage. Ooh, what is this? Um, attack power? We'll take it. Not really applicable to us, but when we do use our dagger, we will be doing more damage. So let's just go ahead and equip that upgrade. Wish it had intellect on it, but you know, can't get everything we want. These two always seem like they pull together. But I feel like we might have the tools to deal with it now. Oh, and they, they didn't pull together this time. That's interesting. Eventually we will get a dagger. I promise you guys that. Our dagger, a, a wand <laughs> to replace our dagger. We also have life tap, which could come in handy. Converts 22 health into 22 mana. So if we absolutely need to have mana, we can uh, hit this and it'll turn some of our health into mana. We're also gonna get life drain eventually. So we could life drain and then we could mana and then we could life tap. You kind of get the idea. And we'll probably be demonstrating some of it out of necessity. Let's take this guy out as well.
There's no real reason not to run in and use the dagger. It's just additional damage. And you don't have to waste mana on another Shadow Bolt, you know? Now I don't want to body pull this guy, so I'm going to stay back here for a minute. He's probably going to pull anyway, but I don't want to be up there when he does. I'm going to pop this potion just to be sure that we survive this. There we go. I got also purchased some milk and some freshly baked bread, so we should be in good shape now. When we do need to get our mana back, we have a little bit more of an ability to do that. Although we have been able to be pretty conservative with our mana. And that's very interesting as well, I like that a lot. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's focus on this guy. And I don't know how far back here we're going to have to explore in order to get the ping that we've explored it. It could be halfway, it could be the entire way. Uh, there's really no telling. I didn't want that guy to run off, so we did spend some mana there to make sure we finished him off pretty quickly. These guys are a little too close for my liking. I wonder if I could, like, line of sight him a little bit. There we go. Whoops. Oh, we still got the- no, I, God, I thought this guy was running for us. I'm now seeing things. Okay. Doing okay so far. Better than earlier, at least. We're going to have to burn this guy down fast. I really don't want him to run back there. Alright. I think we're okay on this side. Let's drink up and then maybe we clear this out and we keep going straight. Would probably be an option if we're looking to get some kind of fully explored ping for the quest complete. We might just want to keep going straight here. Alright, anybody- yep, here we go. So I know there was somebody we didn't loot yet. This might end up being a two-pull. I'm probably gonna regret it if it is. No, this guy's not moving, thankfully. I need to put demon skin back up, that would be incredibly useful. Ooh, a small pouch. We, we haven't had a lot of luck finding bags, so that's actually really exciting. Just as we're about to reach maximum capacity there. Good drop. Very cool. I get really excited when I get free bags because they're actually quite expensive at this level. And inventory space is always a huge issue. I think like today and while you start a character and they give you like 17 bags, I don't know. I don't feel like bag space is uh, nearly as much of an issue in, in retail. At really any level. But I could be totally wrong. There's a lot more quests in retail World of Warcraft at the beginning of the game that give you additional bags. That you don't have to rely on the random drops or buying one yourself for a crap ton of money. This is a way to go where, like, if you want to fight every single troll this clan has, you go this way. This is, this is intense. I guess we're fighting every troll they have. We haven't, um, found any Shimmerweed. 
because these are not seers, and I, I'm just thinking there's an entirely different location somewhere. Here we go. That was a little bit too close. A little bit too close for comfort. Let's get all of our health and mana back right away. There we go, fully explore Frostmate Hold, completed. Uh, let's see, do we even need to be here anymore? I don't know, where is this perfect stout? High up in the hills to the east. To the east of Brunal Village? Okay. That would be... I mean, the east of Brunal Village is a fucking... Is, is a lake. Maybe over here? And then Frostmane Hold. That goes back to Karanos. Let's turn back, let's go back to Karanos and turn this in. Seems like, you know, one of the main quest chains, so perhaps it will turn into something else. And then we'll try to figure out where the hills are, where these other trolls, the Seers, have all the shimmer weed at. I think we have a couple of things to turn in here. What can I do for you? Ah, I didn't think you'd have much trouble finding the place. My directions are excellent, you know. Let me just finish up my report then. He brings out some paper and scribbles on it momentarily. There. Well, <laughs> now this is certainly funny. I don't suppose that you would mind doing one last favor for me. Ah, uh, well, we get an armor upgrade. A new robe, so that would be cool. Oh, we get that now. Okay. Sure. Perfect. And then we have a follow-up to reports. Excellent. Take my report to Senator Berlin Redstone. He's a sour type, so don't let his less-than-sunny disposition get to you. He's in Ironforge, in the chamber where King Magni holds court. Don't know the way to Ironforge? Take the road out of Karanos north, cross the bridge, then follow the road east. There are large banners flanking the road up the mountainside. By the way... If you might avoid mentioning how you assisted me, can't let them think I'm not working hard out here, you know? Oh yeah, we won't tell them how we did all of your work. It's totally fine. I mean, you're paying us, aren't you? So why would we why would we say anything? It doesn't in we're not incentivized to rat you out because look at our awesome new robe. And what's his report say? What's his report is dense. A report on the state of the Frostmane trolls in the general area of Dunmoreau. The trolls situated, situated in Dunmoreau are largely civ centralized in Frostmane Hold, a mountain cave on the western border. They have sufficient numbers to cause some concern, however they seem more than content to stay in their cave. This is, no doubt, because they do not wish to incur the wrath of the dwarves again, and risk total extermination. Their actions can be considered territorial, if anything, and it is my belief that they pose no real threat to us so long as we do not encroach upon their territory. This may be a situation unappealing to the dwarven populace, but given their dispersal of military resources, it may be prudent to relegate the extermination of the trolls to a lower level of importance, and continue to focus on the threat posed by the trogs and the dark irons. Enclosed, you will also find a copy of my brother Grelin's report on Anvilmar. A report on the state of the Frostmane trolls in the general area of Coleridge Valley, prepared by Grelin Whitebeard, Senate Special Envoy. 
From the time that I have spent observing the movement of the Frostmane Trolls in the Cold Ridge Valley area, I have determined that they pose no large threat to the Dwarven settlements in the area. Moreover, they are a threat that can be eliminated with little additional support from the army. Though the assistance of mountaineers already stationed in Cold Ridge Valley and mercenaries paid with funds set aside by the Senate prior to my detachment, I am confident that the problem will be resolved in short order. This action has been authorized with the sanction given to me by King Bronzebeard. Okay, so trolls, totally dealt with. And that little quest to Stormwind is just sending us there to let them know that everything is great. It's all great. Trolls pose no more threat and we are going to steal some of their weed later, but... That won't cause any problems, so it's going to be fine. I thought I had seen another indicator on the map, but it, maybe it was an herb. Yeah, it's just a peace bloom. Alright, so what we're going to do is we will take a break here, I believe. We have a few different things to do. We need to go, obviously, to Ironforge. Thunderbrew Distillery in Karanos. So this should actually be... Oh, we have to do something with this. Let's get this done first before we forget what to do. Replace the barrel of Thunder Ale with the barrel of Barley Brew Scalder. This is in the basement here in the Thunder Brew Distillery. Okay, let's let's go ahead and do some sneaking, I guess. And now she's trying to prove that her brew is just as good as or better than theirs. I don't think we're trying to like poison anybody or something. What what is this? What's on your mind? Uh, I don't know. There, there's all this booze down here, but I have strict orders not to touch it. Uh, I don't know what this guy really wants. Maybe we have to bribe him or something? I don't know. Yeah, he seems to want something. But maybe we don't need to worry about him? This barrel of ale is guarded by Jarvan Thunderbrew as long as he... Yeah, okay, we need to buy him the booze he wants. Thunder Ale. I bet they're selling some Thunder Ale upstairs. If I had to guess, we can go take a look. What can I get for you today? There we go, a Thunder Ale. Alright, let's go ser serve this up. Should get rid of him and then we could do what we need to do with the barrels. Whoops. There he is. You got my attention. Watch your back. There he goes. Yep, go have a good time upstairs. We will just tamper with the barrel here. You quickly place Marlis barrel of Barley Brew Scalder among the Thunderbrew barrels. Having inserted the barrel of Marlis Scalder in the Karanos Distillery cellar, you grab the barrel of Thunder Ale as proof of your deed. Bring the, the barrel Thunder Ale to Marleth Barley Brew at the Brunel Village. Alright, so we have the Brunel Village. We have the hills to the east. So we'll probably do Iron Forge. Hills to the east of Brunel Village for the Shimmerweed. And then Brunel Village to turn back in the other cask of ale. That sounds like a good plan. And we will be doing that next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. It really means a lot uh, to have you here and to have your support. So thank you, and take care of yourselves out there, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye now.